सो हेलो गाइज दिस इज टेकी सुकी एंड देन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन लर्न हाउ टू इंस्टॉल वी एम वेर वर्क स्टेशन प्लेयर ऑन योर डेस्कटॉप सो बेसिकली द वी एम वेर इज द वर्चुअल मशीन दैट विल अलाउ यू टू रन एनी अदर ओ एस ऑन योर विंडोज विदाउट properly installing this on your system so let's first start with the vmware and we are also going to learn about the how to install ubuntu operating system on the vmware so let's first search uh, vmware and from the vmware go to the workstation player so it is basically the free version of the vmware so from the here uh, download now so start downloading i have already downloaded so i'm going to cancel it out and other thing is ubuntu so yeah so here we are going to go to the ubuntu websites and uh, from the download we are going to download the latest uh, lts version so basically the lts is a long term support version so nearly the 4 to uh, 4 to 5 years support it will provide so for for the 4 to 5 years we uh, we are not going to get uh, so we are getting up updates on this open to version so yeah here it started so i already have this version so i am just for now cancelling it out so now let's move to the installation process um, so here is our installation file of the download so right click on this run as administrator uh, yes then it will So actually the thing is I have the license copy of the workstation 16 pro so that for a free version is the same just I have to give the key to the to it so it's not going to make any difference so process are the still same so next accept next so just check out this option so it will enhance the keyboard driver for the virtual machine so so basically it will uh, it has the driver of keyboard and mouse so it will work best on your virtual machine so for that keep the, uh, all this two checkbox should be checked and the next and uh, then if you if you want then you can uh, do this check the update product update on the startup so when when this your windows boot up so it will check for the new version uh, immediately so i'm basically going to turn it off if you don't just leave it so it is also improvement program so just leave it as it is so it will ask you to make it on the desktop or start menu so i just want to start menu program folder so next and install so this is the basically the installation process it is very simple you can do it on your own also there is not uh, any rocket science so yeah there it is so after the installation and the finishing process it will ask ask you to restart the computer then basically you have to do it so just click on the yes so after installing and restarting so following every process so you will and open the workstation so you will get to this screen so make sure you will get this screen or otherwise you are following some wrong tutorial so basically now we have to create a virtual machine of ubuntu so you can click here and create a new virtual machine or uh, go to the file if you don't get this kind of option just go to the file and create a new virtual machine so here you will get some uh, different uh, options so here's a typical uh, recommended because there is not any complex stuff if you choose this then you will get a very complex uh, installation just some of them you don't even know so just go for the typical installation so simply just next and so here here you have to select the uh, disk image so which is basically we are downloaded open to disk image so i'm just gonna get to the browser uh, sorry browse and here i'm gonna select the open to disk iso file so disk is probably the iso file so don't get confused so now click on the next uh, next sorry uh, sorry for the vocabulary the, i'm so bad with english so here just uh, uh, give some name so password just so here you don't have to change anything so here it is just uh, make it the default location it is simply the location of the file where it will create the virtual it will use your virtual uh, you can say it's the storage so here you can choose anything you can give like you have the different drive then you can choose the d drive also like i am choosing this lg folder and click on ok so your uh, your virtual machine or you can say your operating system will store into that folder so so it is for that uh, otherwise if you don't have any kind of problem like this then you don't have to do anything just uh, make it a default so here the virtual machine name ubuntu 64 bit so make it default next so here the uh, complex part so here you have to give the st uh, storage size to your operating system so here as recommended there is a minimum 20 gb we required for the um, ubuntu so here i'm gonna give it like a just say uh, 30 gb so that's all just give according to your uh, storage space uh, how much you want to give so that is completely on your own so in here you can easily delete this operating system and uh, uh, create another one so it is very easy in the virtual machine that's why we use it so it's about these two options so it's it is basically nothing just a uh, create a split just don't have to get into this stuff so just click on the next and so here uh, so this is the uh, important part so gives uh, some uh, some 
importance to that so here first of all you have to decide the how much ram you want to give so here i have a, six, a 16 gb ram so i am giving it uh, like a 4 gb 4 gb ram so it is recommended if you have the 8 gb ram then just give a 2 gb or a or 3 gb ram only so it is necessary uh, it is a minimum you can provide a 2 gb ram it is a requirements of 2 gb ram so minimum it should be 2 gb or the recommended uh, 3 gb or if you have the higher ram then you can go for the 4 gb as well so here the process that you don't have to do anything in this because uh, just leave it as it is so everything should be like that just don't have to do anything so just close and click on the finish so here we have successfully created the drive in a so operating system in a virtual machine so just uh, power on this virtual machine so if you once click on this uh this uh, virtual machine so your cursor will uh, will in become invisible so here press ctrl or and alt to just give back on your windows display so yeah it is uh, some here uh, here there is option of that so yeah just keep in mind that ctrl alt will uh, again make visible your mouse cursor so yeah here the virtual machine is opening so it will take a bit time if you have the really good processor then you don't have to worry about it it will uh, easily handle it or if you have this so uh, slow processor then it will gonna take some time so here it is started with some really great music so just to make it default then so here different different kind of english just just um, keep it a default continue so just go with the normal installation process because in normal installation you will also get web browser office softwares and some basic games and media players and so just keep it normal in minimum installation you will get uh, very less applications fitted so some of them basically which is required but it will not get on that time so just go with the normal and so in other option download update while installing open to so you can uh, kind of go with it but i don't recommend because it will uh, use your external data so it will da start downloading uh, updating the open to so just uh, i'm not gonna check it so continue so here don't have to do anything else just uh, click on the install now continue so it will automatically start downloading so before that just you have to select from where you are and then continue so here it is asking for the name so so yeah just choose the password okay just uh, so just continue and it will start installing basically now just you have to wait till it get installed so let's keep this part so here our ubuntu is installed installation is completed so just click on the restart now so let it restart go to the full screen to get immersive experience so tikisugi password so yeah it will ask for the accounts no thank you skip skip next next done now here you can install some basic softwares here so i'm not gonna install it now so just done so everything is perfectly working just check some terminal command so let's just go to the documents and there create one file which is called touch so yeah so let's check the file is created or not documents yes there it is the file is created so everything is working correctly so this is it this is the tutorial that's how you're gonna install your ubuntu on the virtual machine so there's a very simple process just uh, follow it through and you will you can easily install it on your desktop so so that's it guys uh, see you in the next video so till then goodbye